quick review of a uh, purchase I made from IC Station. They're um, off in uh, what country? Singapore. So kind of like dealing with Future Tech. I don't want to say Future Tech, but it's like Futu Tech or whatever. Um, you've got quite a delay in a purchase. It took me almost six weeks to get my order. I made kind of a large order. It's only in, in a box this big, so it's not physically a large order. But I had many items in my order, so it might have taken a while to scramble it together. The only item I'm going to talk about right now is this little remote. So for only four bucks plus shipping, four thirty-five plus shipping, you get a little remote and a four-channel receiver. Four buttons on the remote, and then uh, four outputs on the chip on the on the little uh, card here. And it works uh, just as advertised. I see here it says it's supposed to work on twelve volts. I'm actually working mine. Right now, only on uh, what um, roughly five volts I'm using four NICADs, well, four nickel metal hy uh, hydrides, so roughly a five volt power supply. And it just works, it uh, couldn't be simpler, and it works. One thing I really like is the remote, it comes with this little guard over the buttons so if you want to put it in your pocket and make sure you don't press the buttons accidentally that'll do that for you it's actually a pretty nicely made little remote you know for the money it's kind of nice shiny kind of a false wood green little antenna can be pulled out Really, it's kind of a nice remote for the price. I especially like that little cover feature. That's pretty cool. The board itself is fairly tiny. Um, yeah, maybe a couple, not much bigger than a couple postage stamps. The PC board. Of course, it doesn't come with this little uh, proto board. And then I just put an, uh, an LED on each of the four legs that it controls. I also did buy the battery holder from them. It's kind of nice. It has a, uh, a locking cover. You can put a screw through to uh, make the cover lock. Otherwise it just click locks. Not very strongly. But it has a little on off switch on it. Which is kind of nice. And I need to turn the switch on. As you can see, I got my I put a different color LED on each of the four buttons here. Let's see, yellow, green, red, blue. Just to uh, demonstrate. So nothing could really be simpler than that. It just works, you know. It's there's really nothing to do. And I might eventually use this for an Arduino project. I also bought the mini proto board from them too, so all these items came from them. But not bad for very little money. A very simple solution. Here I am about 30 feet away. And you can see it still works just fine. So I haven't actually tested the uh, maximum distance on it yet, but 30 feet works flawlessly, which is more than enough for my purpose. One of the first really warm days we've had in quite a while here, we're losing a lot of our snow. But here it is, sitting out in the snow, 
Let us see how far I can get on this thing. So, where are we? Maybe 20 feet. I don't know if we'll be able to see the lights, that's the problem. There we go, green. Let's see if red's more visible. Well, probably not dark enough for the camera to pick this up. It's still triggering. Let me put it in a darker spot, see if I can make this work. I'm about 65, 70 feet maybe. And I'm at the edge of the reception at this point. Walking closer here. I wasn't getting its trigger. Yeah, the camera can't catch it, but I can see it with my eye. So about 60, 75 feet somewhere in there, so limited their range.